Welcome back. My name is Lucy. I'm a pharmacist and a nurse. In this week's video, we are looking at natural ways to help reduce and prevent cholesterol from becoming high in the first place. Before we start, be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell in order to stay up to date on my videos and content. Cholesterol is a natural occurring substance made by your liver and intestines. Your liver and intestine makes about 80% of cholesterol in your body and only about 20% comes from the food you eat. Why do we need cholesterol? Your body absolutely needs it for proper function of cells, nerves, and to make hormones like vitamin D, testosterone, and estrogen. But a high amount of cholesterol can put you in an increased risk of heart and vascular diseases like heart attack, vascular dementia, and stroke, which are the leading cause of death in the United States and worldwide. When blood cholesterol rises, your risk of heart diseases also rises. We have different type of fat in our blood. Blood. So we have the HDL or high density lipoprotein. This is good or helpful cholesterol and it works to remove cholesterol from the blood and carry it back to the liver. We have the LDL or low density lipoprotein. This is bad or lousy cholesterol. It takes cholesterol to the rest of the body and contributes to build up of plaque in the artery wall. We also have triglycerides and it can contribute to plaque buildup in the arteries. On this table, it shows the desired cholesterol level, so the LDL, HDL, and triglycerides in adults and children. Oftentimes, plaque formation is dependent on both how much LDL and how little HDL there is in the blood. The first tip on how to naturally reduce cholesterol is to add polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fat to your diet. Polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fats are typically liquid at room temperature but start to turn solid when chilled. They can be found in plant-based oils like soybean, corn, olive oil, and canola oil. They can also be found in tree nuts and seeds like flax seeds, soybeans, cashews, and they can also be found in oily fish like salmon, tuna, and sardines. Research has found that diets higher in mono and polyunsaturated fats help lower bad cholesterol and decrease your risk of heart diseases and type 2 diabetes. Polyunsaturated fats prevent oxidation of cholesterol that contributes to it clogging the arteries. They also provide essential fats like omega-3 fatty acid which your body needs for cell growth and brain function. The second thing you need to do is to eat soluble fiber. Soluble fiber can help decrease the bad cholesterol. It does this by the help of bacteria in your gut. The digestion of fiber by bacteria in your gut helps lower the bad cholesterol. Great sources of soluble fiber include whole grain oats like oatmeal, millet, and whole grain rice, beans, chickpeas, and peas, fruits like oranges, apples, and strawberries, and fiber supplements like metamucil. The third tip is to limit saturated fat. So we know most people in the United States consume way too much saturated fat. Saturated fats are typically solid at room temperature. These fats occur naturally in many Many foods and most come from animal sources so meats like beef lamb chicken especially with skin dairy products like cream butter cheese ice cream tropical fats like coconut oil and palm oil and some baked and fried foods if you eat meat pick meat that are leaner or are grass-fed and or you can cut out extra fat before cooking and if you go for chicken or turkey eat the chicken without the skin American Heart Association recommends eating a diet that has 5% to 6% of calories from saturated fat. So for example, if you need about 2,000 calories a day, no more than 120 calories should come from saturated fat. So that's about 13 grams of saturated fat per day. The fourth tip is to avoid trans fat. These are fats that have hydrogen added to them to make them more stable. These fats increase your total cholesterol and LDL and at the same time decrease your healthful cholesterol by about 15 to 20 percent. Trans fat can be found in foods like margarine and butter, baked goods like cake, biscuit, cookies, and donuts, fried food like chicken. In most countries, food companies are required
required to list how much trans fats are on the nutrition label. The label can be tricky though. In United States, companies can label a zero grams of trans fat per serving if it contains less than 0.5 gram per serving. But who eats only one to two cookies out of a packet or only apply a teaspoon of butter on bread? So it is good to read the label and if it contains things listed as hydrogenated oils or partially hydrogenated oils, it means they contain trans fat and you should avoid them. There's no doubt that these foods are tasty, but we should avoid them as much as possible. Here it's a sample nutrition label and you can see it is labeled with zero trans fat but with hydrogenated and partially hydrogenated oil under the ingredients. The fifth tip is to limit food with added sugar. So food like soda, cakes, cookies and candy. When you eat excess sugar, your pancreas releases more saccharating insulin. This insulin stores the excess sugar as body fat and the circulating insulin causes your liver to manufacture more cholesterol which then causes an increase in bad cholesterol and triglycerides and reduces your good cholesterol. Tip number six is regular aerobic exercise like jogging, swimming, hiking, cycling, rope jumping, heavy cleaning, and walking. Research has shown that 30 minutes of activity five days a week can improve your cholesterol and decrease your risk of heart diseases. Tip number seven is to minimize stress. Both adrenaline and cortisol trigger the production of cholesterol. To keep a check on these, start by identifying your stress triggers and work toward reducing them. Follow techniques like yoga, deep breathing, exercise, and meditation to minimize your stress. Tip number eight is to maintain a healthy weight. All things we have been talking about today can help with weight loss. You may be able to reduce cholesterol levels significantly by losing 5 to 10 percent of your body weight. This can help decrease the LDL or the bad cholesterol and increase the good cholesterol HDL. Therefore, it is good to pick a healthy diet plan and or an exercise plan and stick to it. Tip number nine is stop smoking and or chewing tobacco. The nicotine in tobacco causes a decrease in the good cholesterol with an increase in the bad cholesterol and this contributes to plaque formation that leads to clogged arteries. Also, cigarette smoking impairs the good cholesterol function by reducing its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory function. Studies have shown that quitting smoking can increase good cholesterol by about 10%. Tip number 10 is to take supplements. So supplements like coenzyme Q10, garlic. Garlic reduces your cholesterol and the amount of lipids accumulated in your arteries, omega-3, and red yeast rice. Red yeast rice has properties that are similar to statins medication. Here is a list of all the 10 tips that we've been talking about today on how to reduce your cholesterol. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.